From the dawn of the internet, young men have eaten the uneatable for the benefit of their YouTube subscription numbers. Our next dining daredevils are A-Rock and Hobo Brown from Los Angeles. Can they handle the hottest horseradish on Earth? <laughs> it's called nasal napalm, and this is a pretty good name for this because this is incredibly strong horseradish and it is going to burn. So why is this horseradish too hot to handle? Horseradish is a root. It's related to the mustard family. And the chemical that's creating this response is called isothiocyanate. Now, it's naturally occurring in these plants because it's supposed to be a deterrent for any predators. These chemicals are so toxic, they're toxic to the plant as well. Now, this means that the plant has to store it in a harmless form next to an enzyme that's capable of breaking this form down. When a herbivore bites into the plant, it breaks down the cell walls and these two chemicals mix, and this releases the isothiocyanates. The plant is effectively conducting a chemical attack on whatever's trying to eat it. Yes, it's a full chemical assault on our intrepid daredevils. But water should cool the burning, right? With chilies, you can kind of drink milk or something, but there's no way to stop this burning sensation. The difference here, this isothiocyanate is so volatile, it evaporates up into all your sinuses and everything, and it's pretty difficult to get rid of. Because it's a vapour, there's nothing that can be done but wait for it to vaporise, and eventually it'll just evaporate. These guys are my heroes. I just had a little bit of that, and it just blew me over. Don't try this at home.